Never hit the one animal, one ant. YouTube shooter Nassim Abdam's father speaks out for the first time. I'm sorry, I can't believe it. For nearly eight hours Wednesday, ATF agents search Ugdam's family's Menifee home and the home in San Diego where Ugdam lived with her 90 year old grandma. She was the really good person. She was the bringing an animal loving. Meanwhile, loved ones consoling the family poured in and out, many confused by Tuesday's San Bruno shooting rampage. I'm sorry, I don't know nothing. I, I, I have no idea. Did you meet her? Did you ever have a sense something was off? No. Ugdam's brother told me exclusively her grudge against YouTube likely motivated her shooting three company employees and taking her own life. He says the family reported her missing Sunday. When Mountain View police later told the family they found her sleeping in her car, the brother says he warned them. She had a problem with uh, YouTube, so we called that cop again and told him that she might, there's a reason she went all the way from San Diego to that, so she might do something. I mean, I didn't know she has a gun, and then I thought maybe she's going to go and uh, start the fight or something. It does not appear that message was relayed to San Bruno police. This was our first encounter and first awareness of this subject um, after we arrived on scene. We had no prior contacts or information regarding her. Ugdam posted about animal rights and veganism on YouTube, but she expressed frustration with YouTube allegedly demonetizing those videos. And filtered on YouTube, and I'm not the only one. So recently, they also attacked my Persian channel, Nassim Saps. No explanation makes sense to the family. On Wednesday, they wrote, Our family is in absolute shock and can't make sense of what has happened yesterday. Although no words can describe our deep pain for this tragedy, our family would like to express their utmost regret, sorrow for what has happened to innocent victims. Police say Ugdam went to a local gun range yesterday before going to YouTube. Now, today would have been her 39th birthday, and the family thinks that may have had something to do with the timing of the shooting. Reporting from Menifee, Zorin Adamji, Fox 11 News.